up guys we're back a little bit a lot today I had a buddy ask me if I could build him some uh, horseshoe backstop so I thought I'd go ahead and uh, show you a little bit of video how to do that uh, how I'm going to do it and uh, hopefully it helps you well, let's go ahead and put you on the whiteboard again and uh, let's see if we can uh, just describe a little bit what we're gonna do here all right so obviously your horseshoe pit is here with the pin in it comes across, has another one with a pin in it. And so my job was to uh, basically put, uh, just contain it a little bit so the sand, when you're hitting it, it's not going everywhere, as well as the horseshoes and things like that, it's not hitting anybody's feet. So I'm gonna put a backstop right here. And so the side view of it would be out here like this, down here like this, and then out here like this. This is all gonna be pocket hole screwed together with cup holders right here. And this is just going to be a two by six here with some stakes that he can uh, help drive it in the ground so it doesn't. So part of this project, I'm going to be using a bunch of pocket hole screws. I bought this Craig jig and it's been awesome because if you've ever drilled pocket holes, you know there's a ton of sawdust. In this particular setup, I'm able to hook up my vacuum. But let me show you how to set it up for the thickness of the wood you're going to use as well as the size of screw that you're going to use. This is very, very easy. Let's see if I can't get you down here to look at it real quick. In our particular case, we're cutting two by fours, which are only an inch and a half thick. So I have it set here at the one and a half inches. You use this button right here, and it changes the thickness here. As it comes with this basically step right here. And if you see on it, it says screw length. So why it has this little chuck thing at the end here to tighten it down or not. You put it in, around and so I'm going to use two and a half inch screws which isn't being that top one right there you bring it all the way down until it hits the bottom of that you can see here I actually need to screw it loosen it up a little bit to bump that down just a tad bit but it has to hit that bottom right there and that way you'll know that you're screwing through inch and a half boards as well as two and a half inch screws All the boards cut, pocket hole screw drilled. It's time to put some two and a half inch pocket hole screws in these boards. I have seven of them lined up, which gives me the exact height that I want.
uh, horseshoe pole boards that he's going to sink in the ground and bury so that bolt comes out. The pole actually is angled, which I didn't even know, but apparently it's angled about 12 degrees. I have my drill press. I'm going to set it to 12 degrees, drill that straight down, and then he should be able to put his pole in there and play some horseshoes. Now you can play some horseshoes. Thanks for watching guys. See you on the next one.